Hi, and welcome to the fun facts of the OM606. Today we're going to talk about a common problem. A problem that I see every day. Overfueling. It's, I mean, isn't the price of diesel high enough? We just like to waste it? No, I don't know. And, and the heat it creates? Oh, my engine is overheating. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, and I crashed my engine. Why? I mean, it, isn't it better to run a healthy engine? Yeah. All right, so let's talk about overfueling. Because, as I said, I see it every day. And, you know, a diesel engine shares like 99% of the components with a, with a petrol engine. So, uh, so we have the rods and pistons and camshafts and valve springs and everything is the same. Slight differences, you know, spark plugs, no spark plugs. And uh, compression ratio, 22 to 1, like 9 to 1. Yeah, so, so it, it, it's a bit of a difference, but the components are more or less the same. And yet, the engines work in an opposite way. So, the petrol engine, we all know, it, it runs on air. It doesn't matter if you have fuel or, or, or whatever you have. It runs on air. That's why we have the throttle body, right? So, more air, more revolutions. More air, more power. So, that's how it works. And if we have too little of the fuel, it gets very hot. So, what we do when we tune the pepper engines is that we add a little bit of fuel just to cool it off. The diesel engine, though, it doesn't have a throttle, right? So, why isn't it on 10,000 RPMs all the time? Because it works in the opposite way. It doesn't care about that. Not at all, not one bit. It cares about fuel. Only fuel. More fuel, more revolutions. Less fuel, less revolutions. So, if we start to grasp that, you know, that information that the engines work in opposite ways, then we can start to think about what we're doing and what we're doing wrong. Because everybody, you and not me, but everybody else, they think about these engines as a petrol engine. So we have to regulate a lot of things, like air, for example. But we don't, because the diesel engine don't care about air. The diesel engine care about fuel. If we add enough fuel, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of black smoke and and whatnot. So we need air to put the fire out, of course, uh, and that's why we add boost. So we buy this super mega awesome pump, 200 cc of fuel, and we can't just run that. Of course not, because we will have two horsepowers and. 3 billion degrees of uh, exhaust uh, temperature, gas, uh, heat, shit, whatever, it is. Uh, and so we need the boost to put the fire out, right? So we put two bar or three bar boost and, and happy days we have 600 horsepower. Perfect. But still we're regulating things as if the engine was a petrol engine. And we need to stop doing that. We need to stop these, what did I call it in the last video? Superstars. The keyboard superstars that know it all. Oh, you have to do like this and this and this, yeah. No, you don't. Either you do it the correct way, or you're gonna have problems. And you're gonna write on Facebook that boo-hoo, my engine uh, is overheating. Oh, boo-hoo, my engine is doing this and that. So, what we have, what's the fact? Petrol engine runs on air, that's why we have the throttle. Right. We add fuel to make it cooler. 
this Lanyin, no throttle. Still no RPM, right? Because it runs on fuel. Little bit of fuel, little bit of RPM. Lots of fuel, lots of RPM. Easy as that, right? But when we add fuel, we add heat. So it's not like the petrol engine that it gets colder. So we add heat with fuel. So we need more air to make it cooler. Petrol engine, more air, hotter. Okay, so now we all know this because I've said it two, three times. We need to have enough air to put the fucking fire up. So if we're adding 150, 160, 180, 200 cc of fuel, we need the air to put the fucking fire out so it doesn't get hot and we have the power. Right, so what are you guys doing wrong? No one? Okay. So you use a wastegate. Why the fuck do you use a wastegate? Well, it, it, it's just mind-blowing. And, of course, not you. Because you don't know. You read on Facebook. But you. You sell stuff. Right? And you sell stuff to the guys that doesn't know. And you add a wastegate in, in that package. Or a wastegate outlet on that manifold. Are you stupid? What the fuck? So... A diesel engine don't have a wastegate, right? So we can add a wastegate, of course we can. And the manufacturers do because of regulation, right? So my 606, it has 177 horsepower. Hmm. So what happens if the injection pump gets a little bit of malfunctions and it adds more fuel? it will be more horsepower, right? So, Mercedes put a little bit of wastegate in there to regulate so the car can't have more than 177 horsepower, right? It's not because you need it or because it's operating all the time. No, it's because of regulation. We don't have that regulation. We want a car that drives and works every day, right? So we don't use a wastegate. And yeah, you can put the wastegate. But if you're boosting three bars, you put your wastegate on 3.2, right? So it never opens. And if you get the malfunctions, say your turbo is, is going bad, so it leaks oil through the compressor house, okay? That oil goes through the intercooler, through the intake, and into the engine. And voila, you don't have 160 cc of fuel, you have 200 cc of fuel, right? And you don't want more boost, right? So then you put the wastegate in. The problem with that is you need to know that this problem is happening so you can stop the car. Because if you still drive and the wastegate is opening, you stop overfueling and you stop overheating and you're going to trash your engine. So, for me personally, no. It's not worth the risk, you know? It's better for me to see on the boost gauge that, oh, my car is over boosting. My car is boosting more than what I set it to. And so, how do I know that? How do I set the boost on a diesel if I don't have a wastegate? I told you this already, right? The diesel engine runs on diesel. It don't run on air. So if you set your pump to 100 cc, it will boost, I don't know, 70 psi. And then you turn up your injection pump and it will boost 14 psi. That's one bar for our European friends. And you add more fuel and you do 28 psi, two bars. Right? So, it, it, it's simple as that. You just turn your fuel down. So if you go out to the garage right now, and you pull that fucking wastegate hose up, and you go and drive your car, and if it's boosting more than it did yesterday, you have been overfueling. 
You go out, and you turn the fuel down to where you want to be. You want to do two bars, 28 psi, you turn your fuel down to two bars. It's simple as that. So you regulate your boost with your fuel. And I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't even understand how companies out there are selling products to you guys that don't know. You guys that sit on the Facebook and, and, and search for information. You guys that have seen uh, Toyota Supras and, and whatever doing this uh, wastegate noises all your life. Because you guys, you know that you need a wastegate. But the companies out there, they all know that you're going to crash your ending if you use a wastegate. So, are they just mean? Or is it maybe companies that don't know what they're doing? It might be companies that are just in it for the profit. They don't care about you or your build or your car or your engine. They just want to Put shit on a stick, dip it in gold, and sell it to you. So, I think that's my five cents today. Don't fucking overfuel. And take that new, brand new fucking Tial wastegate and throw it as far as you can, and then you turn around and walk away. Alright? Love you all.